بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اوکے ان دس لیکچر ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ایکٹیوٹی انالیسز اینڈ مائکرو ایکنومکس اوکے فار دی سیک آف سمپلسٹی ایسیوم دیر دی آر ٹو فیکٹر اینڈ پرس اونلی دیٹ از دی فیکٹر ون اینڈ فیکٹر ٹو اینڈ دی آر ٹو ٹائپس آف ایکٹیوٹیز ان وچ اف یو وانٹ ٹو پروڈیوس اے سنگل یونٹس آف آؤٹ پٹ یو کین پروڈیوس ون یونٹ آف فیکٹر ون دس فیکٹر اینڈ یو کین یوز two units of factor two this is the first economic activity which is feasible the second economic activity is as you can uh, use two units of factor one and one unit of factor two so this is the second possibility or you can call it the second activities if you want to report it in the standard language so these two economic activities can be reported as This is the production possibility set in which there are two production possibility plans only. This is plan one and this is plan two, or you can call it activity one and activity two. To produce one unit of output, this is output. This is one unit of factor one and two units of factor two. The minus sign, this is this is uh, the, the it means that they are inputs. They are inputs and you pay them. That's why it keeps a negative sign. Similarly, if you want to produce one unit of output, you can hire two units of factor one and one unit of factor two, and this is the second production possibility plan. Okay. However, if you want to increase the units of output, two units, three units, four units, what will be the proportion of these two uh, factor inputs? So, for the generalization of these production possibility plans for five units of output, you can report the uh, input requirement set is this is the general form of these the proportion of factor inputs in these two production possibility uh, plans look at it this is one y and two y this is the proportion of factor input in the activity one two y and y this is the proportion of factor input in the economic activity two Now you can put y is equal to 1, 2, up to n. So the proportion remains constant. How located? If, for example, if you want to produce one unit of output, so it will be 1 and 2 into 1, 1, 2, right? And similarly, 2 into 1, 2 and 1. So 1, 2 and 2, 1. So this is as the first case, right? Now, you can put y is equal to 2 it means that if you want to produce two units of output what will be the requirements of input so if you put 2 y is equal to 2 so this is equal to 2 and this is 2 into 2 this is equal to 4 it means that doubling the factor inputs in the activity 1 similarly doubling the factor inputs in the activity 2 so again it will be 4 and it will be so you can put 3 4 up to n so this is the general form which maintains the proportion of inputs of activity a and activity b so this is the generalized form of the uh, production plan 1 and production plan 2 now if you want to uh, present these economic activities uh, geometrically you can look into this uh, this graph look at it this is the uh, two dimension plan in which this is factor 1 right and this is factor 2 and this is the two production plan plan a and plan b for one unit of output in which two units of factor 1 and one unit of factor 2 one unit of factor 1 and two unit of factor 2 so this is the first case if you put y is equal to 2 in this production possibility plan or activities you will get the first and the last ignoring this one for now so it will be this is uh, this will be 4 because you double the factor inputs to produce two units of output so four units of factor 1 and two units of factor 2 similarly two units of factor 1 and four units of factor 2 in the same way you can if you uh, want to produce many units y units using these uh, proportion of factor inputs of activity 1 and activity 2 you may produce much more units of output now what is important to note that 
these are not the only two possibilities in which you can produce two units and these are not the only two possibilities in which you can produce one unit and these are another two possibilities in which you can produce five units so these, there are many other possibility as well in which you can produce uh you can produce uh more units of y uh and you can substitute one factor and put four and other for example here you can see the mix approach is used to produce two units of output and here also you can see that mix approach is used to uh, produce y units of output so it means that there is some degree of substitutability of factor one for factor two and factor two for factor one so you can also use a mix approach to produce units of y right so how can we represent a substitutability of factor input as possible then how can we report it look at it so if we want to use a mix approach to produce y units of output you can see how can we apply max approach for max, max approach the condition is you can see um, y a plus 2 y b it is a max approach this is the substitution of one factor input for another you can see y is equal to y a plus y b so this is the total number of output should be should must must equal to the sum of the activity a and activity b so we can use a max approach by this way uh, if we want to produce certain units of uh, y we can use y a plus 2 y b or we can use y b plus 2 y a so here we have merged the two economic activities right this is activity a plus two time y b this is activity second plus y b plus two y a note that the proportion is just same one plus two and one two plus one right y a two y b y b two y b so y a so again the proportion is just same so this will be a, the input requirement set which can also represents the mix approach to produce y inverse sub output if you look into these three activities this is activity a this is activity b and this is the max activity which shows the combination of activity a and activity b here you can see you can use two uh, uh, y and two y here two y and y and here you can see that you have increased uh, for example if you are applying this activity you have increased 2 by 1 and decrease 4 by 1 so it becomes 3 and 3 however you are applying this activity to make this you can deduct one unit from 4 and you can add one unit with 2 so we'll get a so this this possibility is possible by two way either this approach or this approach in which you can do trade off you are increasing you are increasing uh, one factor input at the cost of the other what is important to note that the sum of these two factor input should not exceed the sum of these two initial activities. The sum of this is 6, the sum of this is 6, the sum of these two must also equal to 6. So it should not exceed 6. So, so it should neither be less than nor greater than 6. So again, if you are applying this approach, you can also produce two units of y. So this is another possibility. And if you look into the previous graph, this one, look at it. This activity comes from the mix approach of activity A and activity B. If you are decreasing this by one and increasing this by one, or if you are increasing this by one and decreasing this by one, you will get this activities. In the same way, you can produce much more uh, mix possible uh, input bundles. To produce higher units of y so it means it's substitute substitutability of the two economic activities and two factor inputs is still feasible so this discussion the mix approach gives rise the concept of uh, convexity uh, which will we will discuss in the next video thank you thanks for watching